Utility radio signals are perhaps among the more inexplicable signals that you can hear when you are DXing. One of my viewers asked me to explain how to find and listen to these radio signals. They are not the regular broadcast signals like Radio France or Voice of America or BBC. These are signals that are useful for a certain audience only. So they are transmitted to specific receivers. One of the most well-known ones probably are the Volmet signals, the aeronautical weather signals. And Shannon Volmet is one of the most well-known ones there, I think, that many people have received already. But there are also maritime weather signals. These are signals that contain shipping forecasts. And there are HF flight signals where you can actually listen to airplanes speaking to the airports. And various others. There's press signals, as you can see here, beacons. NDBs are non-directional beacons that are useful for planes when they do instrument landings. And many other signals. But in this video, I'm going to focus mostly on Volmet and maritime weather signals. Because these are among the easier ones to catch. And I'll also have a little demonstration at the end where I show you how to catch these. And some military signals. Because military signals are also often quite easy to catch. You do need specific equipment when you do this. You need radios that has single sideband mode, SSB mode. So you need something like the Texan PL368 or the XH Data D808. The PL368, as you can see here, it's got SSB and you can adjust it to upper sideband, USB or lower sideband, LSB. And similarly, the XH Data D808 also has SSB mode, single sideband mode, and you can use LSB or USB, upper sideband or lower sideband. I really like the XH Data D808 for SSB listening. It is very good, so it is one of the radios that I would recommend that you use. And then, of course, you need a good antenna. I use a simple 10 meter wire that I stretched out from my study, my listening room, across over to the garage and then onto this plant. It's a Bougainvillea plant outside. And that really helps me to pick up these signals. When you are a new DXer and you start listening or trying to listen to some of these utility signals, it might all be quite confusing. There are so many modes and sounds that you don't understand maybe, and sometimes you will just hear nothing. And that is the point of this video. I want to give you some pointers of how to start. But there are very good websites that you can use. This Utility DXs Forum, they've got a site and a group on IO Groups. They really have lots and lots of interesting information. It's a very good idea to join this group if you become quite serious with this. But in this video, as I said at the start, I'm going to talk about some of the simpler signals that you can catch. The voice broadcasts for maritime weather and the Volmet aeronautical weather signals. So I'm discussing two sites here, Shortwave DB, Shortwave Database. This one is a good option. They do list many of the utility signals. If you go to the schedule section there and you search on EIBI database specifically, you will see many utility signals. It's a bit of a mix between utility signals and broadcast signals, and that's where it gets a bit confusing, especially if you are new because you don't know how to distinguish between them. These ones called radio, radio, sound like broadcast radio, but these are usually maritime or aeronautical radio signals. So it's not regular broadcasting. But you can see the signals here. Then you've got Coast Guard, like the Labrador Coast Guard. You can see there you've got HFDL, which is high frequency data link. They will sound like fax machines, more or less, if you pick that up. So this site is useful. There's also, you can see some of the aeronautical radios here. I think Shannon is listed. There you go. So it's useful, but it's mixed up with all the other broadcast signals and the times are not here. Not for all of them. The Volmets do have times, but the other ones not. So that's where the confusion begins. If you use EIBI um, on the shortwave database, you will see the signals, but you might tune in and just hear nothing. So that is why I use this site quite often. William Hepburn's DX Info Center. Great site. He puts in a lot of effort to list and update utility signals. You can see along the left-hand side the different types of signals, maritime, aeronautical. As I said, I'm only going to focus on maritime and aeronautical in this video. So if you 
click there on the maritime signal as I did uh, it will open the page and then you can see the different frequencies these are the times you can see the times of broadcast so first the frequency and then the times Sometimes there's like an H plus 30 or H plus 20, like here in Australia. That means on the hour plus 30. That's the time. So 0130, 0230, 0330, for example. Here we have Bangkok meteorological weather. So there, maritime weather. That's usually quite an easy one to catch. So it's an, it's an option that you can look at if you want to try this for the first time. And then if we look at the aeronautical signals, if we click there on aeronautical, it will take us to a page specifically for Volmet signals. And you can scroll down, look at the different places. I'm going to look specifically at 6676, which is the Bangkok, Singapore, Mumbai, Karachi, and Australia Volmet. Then you find your frequency there and you can go to your radio and search. Most of these are USB mode. So what I'm going to do next is to show you some examples. To summarize then, you can go to a site like DX Info Center, go to the maritime weather signal or the Volmet weather signal, whichever one you are interested in. Look at the frequencies, look at the times, turn your radio to USB mode and then punch in the frequency and try to find it at the specific time. Be patient, you will not always pick up something. Depends on conditions, depends on where you are in the world. But with perseverance, definitely you'll pick up stuff. So the next bit of the video, I've got four examples. There's two military signals and two weather signals. So you can see how I do it in practice.